Good morning. I'm pleased to be here on Youth Sunday to talk about legacy giving. Webster says legacy is something transmitted by or received from an ancestor or predecessor. What better legacy than our children and the youth that are leading this service today? Or well, the baptism of a beautiful little girl at this service later whose dad was also baptized in this church. Webster's also defines legacy as a gift of personal property or other assets. I see a linkage between the two. Others have stood here before me to thank you for your generosity at the time when we solicit annual pledges or your incredible responses for our mission partners dealing with the homeless uh, and mental health issues. You have been incredibly generous as a congregation. But I'm not here to ask you for money, at least not now. <laughs> but I would like you to think about a legacy gift at some point in your future. While we often focus on our current income and expenses when we talk about financial matters, in reality, by far our greater wealth is invested in the assets we own our homes, our 401ks, cars, insurance policies, and the like. Yet many of us don't think about what will happen to those assets after we're gone. Believe it or not, only 44% of Americans have a will, and yet everyone does not want a probate judge to decide where our assets go. Wills are not just for senior citizens, they're for young families as well. They force us to think about who do we want to be executive? Who do we want to be guardians of our children? What health care instructions do we want to lead? And who will receive our assets? No question, most people designate les legacy gifts to their children, their favorite charity or the university. And in fact, $34 billion is given annually to these kinds of institutions. Yet typically, churches are not thought of in the same light. We leave our assets to ensure that things dear to us are sustained, helping our children after we're gone to make their lives easier, supporting the financial health of our charities. But what about preserving the legacy of this church, its ministries, its missions, its music program, this beautiful building? all the programs that you care so much about. Your legacy gift assures that it supports the things of greatest interest to you and to not leave it to others to decide. You can restrict your gift to any one of these causes within the church. If you don't restrict it, Session has decided that 10% of your gift would go to missions, 45% for the reduction of the mortgage on the church, and 45% for endowment for the long-term needs of the church. So please think about this issue, these issues, and at the appropriate time, make a commitment that suits your personal interests. No gifts are too small. You can commit any specific amount or percentage of your assets, or you can make a letter of intent or a conditional pledge, and there are many ways to tax shelter your gift. A legacy gift will help ensure the youth of the future continues to build their Christian foundation, enable them to go to mission trips, and be here to lead future youth services long into the future. My name is in the directory, my telephone number, and my email address. If you have any questions, please call me. And there are some brochures in the narthex on the table as you leave. Thank you.